What up people, Bernie back with another video and in today's video I'm going to react to a highly requested show that folks want me to watch and I'm just like okay I'll give it a shot. I probably would have never watched this normally on my own but everyone's saying what a good show it is so I'm like okay let me see. So I'm going to react to Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire Season 1 Episode 1. Let's go! Liquid gold, boy -o. Ooh, 1920. What happened to him? Still breathing. Fuck him. Drop the heaters. Oh, they were tricking him. Drop it, I said. You too, fat boy. Drop it. Drop your weapon. You know whose fucking load this is? It's pretty fucking obvious now, ain't it? Coward, monster, vicious conscience dulled by demon rum, liquor, thy name's delirium. Tomorrow, look at Steve Buscemi. To a... Would be nowhere. Thank you, and God bless. In the trenches, once we ate dog meat, the rats. First rule of politics, kiddo. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Come on in, boy! Look at these motherfuckers doing blackface! Oh, hell no. Mr. Mayor, friends, fellow members of the city council, as you know, in less than two hours, liquor will be declared illegal by decree of the distinguished gentleman to those beautiful, ignorant bastards. <laughs> Welcome back, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Gave them hugs hell, I heard. Sure did. Yeah. Where have I seen him? The world safe for democracy. He's back to lend us a hand, too. Jimmy here will be Pat's man Friday. Atta boy. Yeah. As prohibition agents, you represent the finest America has to offer. It's the first line of defense in the war against illegal liquor. Hmm. Oh, rest assured, sir, all our rooms have an ocean view. Boys. Mr. Torio. Who has he watching them? Hey, wasn't that the dude on the Superman movies? That's what's his name from Sopranos. Um, Butchie? Is that his name? He's in this too! This is Schroeder to see. My apologies. My husband, he's a weakness for the dice games. Do you have children of your own, Mr. Thompson? I do not. I lost my wife to consumption. Hmm. What does this chick want? Yeah. This should see you through winter. I'm not here looking for charity. I insist. I'd be honored to name my child after you. Enoch? Oh. You couldn't possibly be so cruel. <laughs> He's like, don't give the baby that name. Oh, <laughs> Look at that little baby. Get in the house. Oh no. You better not do nothing to her. <laughs> the kids. And he took the loaves and fishes, looked at his disciples and said, Fuck it, we're going into the whiskey business. <laughs> Was that his whiskey that they stole? Steve Buscemi's whiskey? Big city, Billy Boy. Oh! Meet the missus. She ain't much on personality, but she don't talk back none neither. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dude. Twenty-four hours a day. Oh my goodness. Now close to two thousand crates a week, and that's just for starters. <laughs> none of this is legit. <laughs> His laugh. <laughs> The fuck's in this shit? Formaldehyde. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him over the head. Oh shit! What the hell's wrong with you? Out now, beat it. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Smack. He ain't laughing no more. Patty Ryan, you really expect me to go work for that Mick? You'd rather be my driver? Of course not, not cause just you, you make Ryan clerk, I can run rings around that chump. Oh, listen to Bonnie Prince Charlie. 
Come on, Milk. You were assistant sheriff when you were my age. I've been kissing your ass since I was 12. Oh, what about the last three years? That's a thousand bucks. Go buy yourself a piece of I don't want your money. <laughs> Fella hands you a gram, you tell him to fuck himself? You're a pip kid, I gotta say. It's not a pip. Milky, all I want is an opportunity. Who the fuck's stopping you? <laughs> I was walking past the church when I felt faint. Mr. Thompson saw me and was kind enough to have his driver see me home. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, no. I am. And this? Uh-oh. How does this find its way under the mattress? Oh, no. That money belongs to the children. Like, fuck it does. Where'd you get it? Never mind where I got it. Well, horn yourself <coughs> out! <coughs> you whore! You sit out! Or you'll get the belt! The belt? This motherfucker! Eat your food! Oh! Good girl! How do they get kids to do that in film? It's so It looks so realistic. Arnold Rusty and Nucky Luciano. They're what? watching them. them again? Lucky Luciano, Nucky Thompson. I said mutual benefit. I mean, mine too. <gasps> I ain't come here for the pasta shoot. I'll be expecting a matchmaker fee. It's Mrs. Rothstein and Luciano have significant interest in the cabaret business back in New York. A man such as yourself, with both political influence as well as a passing acquaintance with the seafaring types of the Atlantic. Oh, shy Johnny, talk English. <laughs> right. So it's all right. Go ahead, do what you're gonna do. Could you fix us up or no? What they goes we can get up to 2,000 crates a month. For stuff. You young fellas. No appreciation for the art of conversation. I gotta piss. A guy like Rothstein. What's a fellow like that worth? Him? Ten million at least. No, no. Christ. Luciano's sitting on a half a million. I know that for a fact. Gotta spread on Park Avenue. It's a fucking dope peddler. Mm. Jimmy Darman. Al Capone. Come back. Thank you very much. That was Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> Special Agent Van Alden, Bureau of Internal Revenue. Uh-oh. Can I help you? Perhaps. Will you come with me? Jimmy. Oh, no. Mind trouble or something? <laughs> Guilty conscience? Mind telling me what a go-getter like you is doing working for a crook like Thompson? Mm. Tell it to Sweeney. We know all about him and his little fiefdom. The election rigging, the graft, none of which we're interested in. How'd you like to come work for the Bureau? What? I got a bum line. Suppose I say you don't. The wife, young son at home. Oh, Lord, I'm going to guilt him into it doing it. Your friend from New York, the bankroll, he just took us for 90 grand. We ain't that flush right now, Nuck. Mm-mm. What's all this about cutting me off? It's not that. It's a small house. We just can't handle your kind of action right now. But your credit's good with me. Why don't we get to know each other better? Right. I don't think I like what I'm hearing. Uh-oh. Maybe you shouldn't be listening to the grown-ups' conversation. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah, sit down, Charlie. You're a hothead. <laughs> he said. Maybe you shouldn't be listening. You owe me, what, 93 grand. Less 60 for tonight's load knocks it to 33. <gasps> so you can keep playing then. I don't gamble where I don't feel welcome. Cash him out. Hmm. He's I'm mad. Sorry. He's gambling with the money. I'm familiar with my wife. I, my wife. Margaret, you drove her home? Where'd you get that money? What well, business is out of yours? That money belongs to your wife. Oh. Dude, you prick. I'm winning anyway. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> That's what you get, you prick. Look at these people stealing! So how much you know about this hall? It's coming in tonight. For Rusty. Ten 
tell you, for a fact, only ones, especially when Where they young, pause it like that. <laughs> I he used to work in a bank. But no matter how much the boss likes you, you can't work in a bank and take home samples. Get the guns. You're fucking dead. You're fucking as good as dead. Oh, you such a yet. What's that? What? That! The fucking wind, relax! Oh no. Oh no. Yo, they shot them! Mm, mm, mm. The woods, get him, get him! Oh, they're taking down the. They're in different areas. I thought they were in the same place. Oh boy. You don't get him. Don't move. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, that was him. Tommy, Jimmy, what the fuck was that? Fucking this. Go on, get in the car. Go on, scram. Why'd he do that? I'm confused. This fucking dude! He needs to go. Somebody needs to kill this motherfucker. Fucking wife beating ass. Piece of shit. Damn, look at her. Shit. Could be Rothstein himself set it up. Alright, so who knew about the loot? Hmm. Me, obviously. Torio. Jimmy. Mm-mm. He -mm. was mysteriously gold and all of a sudden. Mm. Alright, bring him in. Oh no. <laughs> They're gonna question him. He gives the feds a few of Throws him off to send me time. He's out pulling this job. Mm. Not how? Why? Why? Because he's greedy. One of our members, Mrs. Schroeder, she suffered an injury. What was the manner of injury? Oh no. That mo that motherfucker made her lose the baby. Piece of shit. He knows. He knows. By Henry fucking Ford. That dude was on 9 to 5. He was the boss. He was a prick. Always hitting on Dolly Parton. It's Jimmy. Get the fuck this. Left me holding the bag. What a fucking little prick. <laughs> he said little prick. Jimmy. Hey. Fucking Jimmy. Last night was not supposed to happen like that. Now, Paul, make sure you mention that the Rothstein is—he's cutting your nuts off. It's all gonna get straightened out, Nuck. I promise. Are you that stupid? Did I not tell you to slow down? I tried to give you money. I tried to, I tried to tell you I'm not a kid anymore. Mm -mm. That makes you a man? No. Look, I still got a few to win. We both do. Okay, I'm nothing but a murderer. Oh. You're going to hell, Nuck. I'm not gonna. No, I am. I'm not. <laughs> he said, "Knock it off." Boys. What the fuck is this? What did you share for last night? Share! <laughs> I didn't ask for this. He's like, what the fuck am I gonna do with Jimmy? Thinking about getting your palm red, Steve Buscemi? Oh, yes. Yes, take that motherfucker. Take that motherfucker. You like to beat on women and shit? Steve Buscemi gonna kill the prick? Oh. He said you're making a mistake. Shut the hell up. Oh. Beating the shit out of him. Yep, that's Steve Buscemi's dude. He told him to do that. Shit! And look at 
this one chilling, getting his suit on. <laughs> oh. Oh, he was with the fish! My brother, who worked occasionally as a baker's helper, had been sought in connection with Saturday night's bloody roadside massacre. My wife, I oh. had a better time. He brought her flowers. I the country, and I'd always shout. <laughs> I saw her picture in a bathing suit. I knew I had a wonderful wife until the time. Shit. Damn, that ending. Ooh, Lord. He brought her flowers, and he took care of that motherfucker that was hitting her. God dang. Boardwalk Empire, episode one. It was very good. Good for a, good for our first uh, episode. Very good. All right, you guys. So, um, this, so basically, the show was set during the uh, Prohibition, 1920s, in Jersey. And uh, Steve Buscemi is playing a character by the name of e Enoch, Enoch Thompson. So Steve Buscemi's trying to bootleg liquor, basically. And um, he tries to make a deal, I guess, with this guy Rothstein and Lucky uh, to bootleg liquor. And it, I guess it just goes bad, I guess. I don't know, I'm still kind of confused. Uh, this chick by the name of Margaret, she goes to Steve Buscemi for help to help, to help her husband find a job. She's married and she has two kids. And this dude's a prick, he likes to beat her and shit. And Steve, you know, basically gives her some money to help her and her family out. And the husband finds out and he's pissed and he gambles with the money. And Steve knocks him the fuck out. Ultimately, Steve Buscemi finds out that he beat Margaret up so bad to the point that she lost her baby. And he has him killed. Which I liked. Because he was a motherfucker. Then Jimmy does some sideways shit that pisses Steve Buscemi off. And I'm still not clear on exactly what happened there. And then that guy that they shot at the end, what was his name? I'm still kind of, I'm still learning the characters, but. And then they showed an, a young Al Capone. <laughs> I'm like, what? But, um, no, it was a good episode. I enjoyed. Gotta watch more. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Share my video. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Boardwalk. Episode one. Done. Bye, guys.